Google Home brings voice access to web services from Google and many others. I use mine a fair amount. Hey Google, what's the weather today? In Bedford tonight, it's predicted to be 6 degrees and partly cloudy. It's currently 8 and clear. Hey Google, what does OTOs mean? This is the definition of OTOs. Serving no practical purpose or result. Things aren't perfect, but then, well, they never are, are they? Anyway, in other news, and in 2013, the ESP8266 Miracle arrived. What we need to know is that it's a powerful 80 MHz microcontroller which you can program from the Arduino IDE. Its ecosystem includes a wealth of libraries providing powerful functionality, and best of all, it implements full Wi-Fi, which means you have the entire internet at your fingertips with just this single chip. Oh yeah, and it's like four pounds a pop. So, with one of these, and one of these, hmm, possibilities are endless. Well, I decided to write a little program that runs on the ESP and would tell me every time someone subscribes to my YouTube channel and what the current subscription count is. Okay, how am I going to make that happen? The first thing is that I need, what need, is that dreadful smell? need to make uh, Google Home say what I want it to say. Well, that was uh, really easy. All I did is um, search online and find this excellent video by Debashish Sahu. Um, he's already done it and offers the source code, which I downloaded. Had a couple of problems with it, um, but he was kind enough to help me with that to basically back off a couple of Arduino libraries. Debashish is himself using some work done by Hori Hero, who wrote um, a library for the ESP8026 called Google Home Notifier. The second necessary ingredient is to be able to find the YouTube subscriber count. That's easily done through YouTube's API. Just get yourself an API key and follow the tutorials to get the correct call to the API. I did have a problem with the JSON parser library, I just couldn't get it to work so in the end I dumped it and did it the old fashioned way by pattern mashing in the text string which was returned. And that worked fine. So let's have a quick scooch around the code then. Um, standard Wi-Fi libraries for the ESP. Uh, the magic of uh, Hero Hori, who's got the um, Home Notifier and the Text-to-Speech libraries, which I'm piggybacking. Um, some standard stuff, um, which I won't go through here. The API key I got from some variables to hold some stuff. Declare an instance of the Google Home Notifier and set up a Wi-Fi client which can make calls to the internet. This is how we um, consult with the Google API. This is the get subscribers routine and um, it sets up the, um, the host, Google's API host, and it builds a command. This is what you would put in your browser but it's got a f some bells and whistles because it's not a real browser doing it. It's a get call. Um, but we construct the, the, the URL which it looks like this, you substitute the channel ID and the API key and then send that command to the client which then goes out onto the internet through the miracle of the ESP and then it waits up to um, 10 half seconds for the results to come back which is what the client available routine tests for prints a dot if it's not available just to show me in debug that the thing is working um, it never waits more than one half a second and usually doesn't wait any halves of a second so it collects all the data in a string called buffer and this is where I did have the JSON call which would parse that JSON which we saw earlier and um, give me the answer neatly but um, I couldn't get it to work as I mentioned so here's the brute force technique Find the instance in the whole string of subscriber count, uh, move 19 past it and find a closing quote, and then between those two indexes of those two characters in that string, you'll find the subscriber count, transfer it to an integer, and add it to the string, and return the number of subscribers um, from this function. Here's another function, connect to Google Home. Well, we start with um, the setup routine, declares the serial, starts up the host and gives some debug to tell us where the host is on the local network and then sets up Google Notify with a hello string which is just this string here 
uh, I am at and then the last digits in the IP address that's just for me so I know um, where it is on the network and I can do some debuggy stuff in that connection and then we've got the main loop get the number of subscribers using the function we saw earlier if the subscribers has not changed we maintain two variables one subs is returned by get the current number of subscribers prev subs is the previous number which was collected at setup if they're different then work out whether it's gone up or down and decide which word to use in the um, status update um, change will contain how many it's changed by if change is one then we want single plural to contain subscriber otherwise we want it to say subscribers the plural then we build the statement which Google Home will um, say and it says you either gained or lost the number of subscribers and then you say subscriber or subscribers so your count is now this so it will say for example you gained one subscriber so your count is now whatever it is print that statement and also send it to Google uh, Home Notifier and that's what that string does and then update previous subs and then wait in this case 120 seconds and then do it all again you gained one subscriber so your count is now 1743 and that's it really it's been running for a few days um, I find it moderately motivational it doesn't matter what I'm doing at home um, Google Home will tell me if I've got a new subscriber um, and you know it's a small boost to motivation I suppose but really it's an exercise in what's possible and what's possible is pretty much limitless you've got voice input voice output and access to the world of the internet um, possibilities are endless so uh, the real point of this video is to, to try and make that point and I hope that you've found that interesting and perhaps inspirational if it does inspire you to do anything um, with these ideas then I'd really love to know um, why not let me know in the comments anyway thanks for watching Who the <coughs> is Alexa?